and also I cannot figure out what the problem is because I didn't display a message okay so let me display now a message in order to display a message it's a bad idea to use message box on the other hand you can use something called error provider the error provider here, which is here uh, we are going to use it to display message related to this text box so how do you how do you use it when you have an error here all you have to do is do the following error provider one dot set error now you specify the control that should display the error message and in this case it's p name text box and the error message you want the user to see is that the name uh, uh, wait a minute let's say a name a name should be entered okay and this is it okay uh, other one and after that it is a sub okay I want to exit the subroutine and now also error uh, provider one dot set error p name text box the name should not exceed 10 chars it's as simple as that and finally exit sub okay now if neither of these causes an error this means the data is valid so we should hide the error message error provider one dot set error and this one should be p name text box nothing uh, someone might ask okay why we are setting it to, no uh, to nothing we might not get to execute this one well the reason maybe you enter invalid value at first so you get error message later on you don't want this error message to remain after you enter the correct value so let's try this one now okay so let's add a new a new value so now if I tr try to press tab I get an error I put the pointer and sh and get the, the text I want so let's put a long string and try to navigate away so now the message changes now if I put this message NME one two two three four now this is obviously six characters I can navigate away now it's correct okay if I clear this to try to navigate away this is a null value it will be rejected so uh, let's do other validation for other fields so um, the p address we want the p address to be 10 characters so we select that we we go to validating now again if p address uh, text box dot text equal uh, nothing then uh, e dot cancel equal true which means we're having a problem and error provider one uh, dot set error it will be p address text box and after that uh, you should provide provide an address okay and then exit sub and finally we should hide the error message so error provider uh, dot set error uh, p address text box and error message is nothing so we finish this one same will uh, will be done for the age okay now the age will be a little bit different we want to make sure that it's not a negative value it's a number as well so all we have to do is the following try dimension i as integer and i equal integer dot parse and this will be ph text box dot text now if i uh, smaller than or equal to zero then err dot raise one okay so if any problem happens here while parsing this value which should be a number or if the value is negative we will get an error so if we get an error 
obviously the value is not valid so e dot uh, it will be uh, wait a minute yeah e dot mm, e r r oh sorry I chose the wrong method I'm sorry I should go to validating so just uh, yeah validating now here now this is this is gonna be correct <laughs> gosh sorry about that so e dot cancel equal true and error provider one dot uh, set error um, page text box and the error should be the age is a positive uh, integer integer value okay and finally uh, sub finally error provider one dot set error a ph text box nothing and finally we have this zip code right i guess it's a zip code yes just double click that so it, it is going to be something similar so let's go to validating again and i'm going to copy this because it's, it's very similar now the only other difference is that if uh, postal code text box dot text uh, dot link doesn't equal five then err dot raise one i'm getting an error if this one is not link five b okay um So I am gonna change this one. It's gonna be postal code. Now the postal code is five digits. Okay. So and finally it's here. Okay. So let me explain the code here. So if the length of the postal code is not five characters, then raise an error, which means the data is not valid okay also if the parsing of the postal code into an integer okay uh, failed which means you have some kind of characters inside the postal code we will get also an error and finally if the value of the postal code is negative this will also cause an error so we are making sure that there is no such things such errors finally if any error happened uh, cancel the operation and display the error message to, to explain things to the user um, uh, if none of these get executed means the data is correct so just hide the error message so now let's save this and run the project and we're gonna see how this works so add I'm gonna make lots of mistakes so first of all I'm gonna try to navigate away I cannot so this is the message okay now next I'm gonna put very long name and here uh, a name should be entered okay so uh, when I want to navigate away here the name should not exceed 10 cards so let's say mm, uh, let's call this person Todd so we have no problem now if I want to navigate away this one's asking me to provide an address so this person is in Canada and the telephone is one two three four five six whatever now the age I'm gonna put minus three try to navigate away I get age is positive integer value and uh, now just to make sure 2.3 try to navigate away doesn't work and now if I put for example 77 it works notes I didn't put any validation on that but uh, I'm gonna enter by now for the postal address uh, I'm gonna put this text try to navigate away I can't now I'm gonna put the value one two three uh, four five so we are here we have five characters so since I can navigate all these I can now save and my data is saved now okay so uh, as you can see this is how we can do validation uh, one last thing uh, this is not the only way to do validation uh, another method to do that is 
uh, when you add a data set you just double click your data set here you will get the name of the columns and a number of properties select the column from here and you get a number of properties over here uh, as you can see here you can specify the maximum length uh, what will the null value do in case you have one uh, if you want this column to be unique uh, if you will allow null values and stuff like that okay uh, there I don't think there's much you can do from here but basically the, the, the most common way that you can do validations through using the validating event of the control so this is all uh, about validation for today hope you'll find this useful uh, check out the website uh, www.mka-sub.com there you can see other uh, video tutorials and how to if you have further questions uh, or suggestions uh, send them to the, um, to the email and uh, that will be all for today hope you enjoyed it uh, have a nice day bye bye